This entire topic actually is one that I believe that I've covered before. It has gone viral for many different reasons on many different occasions. But how do you guys feel about the phenomenon of at weddings when the bride and the groom go to like cut the cake or feed each other cake when the groom shoves the bride's entire face into the cake to be funny. Quick poll for the chat. Is it funny? Yes or no? Is it funny when at a wedding, a day that imaginably you are probably paying way too much money for? <laughs> What's the average cost of a wedding again? Average cost of wedding in US. That's so much more than I thought it was gonna be. The average cost of a wedding in the United States of 2024 is $33,000, but can range from a mere $14,000 to $49,000, depending on the location. I mean, you've got to imagine uh, the catering was super expensive for us. If you decide to have an open bar, that's gonna hike up the price. And obviously one of the biggest things that the bride is spending a ton of money on, unless the groom pays for it, is her hair, her makeup, her dress, all of which will be ruined if you shove her body into cake, right? If you put her face in the cake, you may not get any pie later. You know, we've talked about appropriate colloquialisms for cooter and I accept pie. I accept it. Freedom Fiend says, 2K is still a lot. You have to be a colonel in the army to lead 2,000 men. Also, don't say it's for a wedding when you get a cake. They jack up the price. That's, that is true. Yeah, wedding cakes are more expensive than the average case. Look, I would be pissed. I told TJ, like, under no means will you even touch my face with the cake. I don't like it. I don't think it's cute. We will feed each other cake as delicately and without smearing lipstick as we possibly can. I was not there for it. And so when I see these videos of dudes doing this, I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's cute. Do I think it's divorce worthy? No. Unless it's like a pattern of behavior where he is like almost incensed to engage in actions that she begs him not to as like a power thing, then yeah, if like this is just a regular and consistent thing where he just does not respect your boundaries, then that might be like the final straw that breaks the camel's back. And I can't really blame a person at that point, especially because you're in that spicy window where you know, you don't even have to take that paperwork in, you know? It's not even a divorce at that point if it's just an annulment. If it's the next day, if you signed the papers but you didn't even take them to your county clerk, that's not a divorce. I'm not mad at you. And like, it sucks that so many people invested so much in the wedding, but whose fault is it, do you think? If a couple decides to not go through with the full wedding, not go through with the legal process of the marriage after the wedding, because a man shoved her face in the cake after she told him not to. What do you guys think? Is divorce too inappropriate? Divorce, even though it would technically be either an annulment or not filing the paperwork. Vote now, I'm curious. That all to say, this next video that we are about to watch, and to those of you who have not been paying attention to the video this whole time, who have relied on just the audio, I will encourage you to watch this one. This is one that me giving visual, like a play-by-play -play of, wouldn't do it justice. You gotta watch it. So if you're able to like, put down your load of laundry or something to like pop some eyes on the screen, I've got the video up now. We're about to watch it. If you're legally blind and you can't watch it anyway, I'm so sorry, but you'll, we'll explain in a minute. <laughs> Uh, don't no. no 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 we talked about this for real please don't do it I'm not okay not two one let's go yeah oh my dude and they're filming us and it's like what we did on the wedding night was one thing. i was mad that didn't change if you didn't hear that 
they're about to, they're at a vow renewal and they're about to feed each other cake. And she says, the bride goes, don't. And he doesn't don't. He does. He does it. Swipes her cheek with the cake. And it's just, it's just a little guy. It's just a little swipe. But she said, don't. This is literally what I teach my seven-year-old daughter. What I taught my son growing up. Stop means stop. You respect that or else you go to jail. Okay, like that's what that means. And then he tries to justify it by saying, I thought it would be funny. This is what we did on our wedding day. And she says, I was mad then too. So this is where we get back into like the whole pattern of behavior thing. This is a man who's not learning any lessons. Okay, and I know that earlier I talked a little bit about how, you know, just because your wife is angry with you doesn't mean that you just submit to whatever she wants, of course. But anytime my husband has done something that has pissed me off, he's definitely made a point of trying to avoid doing that. And if it's something like this, it's pretty easy to not. Like, God, he has youngest brother syndrome. Do you know what I mean? Like the little brother syndrome where like his primary method of bonding with people is by antagonizing them. You could also call it 4chan syndrome. Like my formative years were spent on 4chan is what this is giving me. It's not funny. I thought that was funny. No, it's not a joke. No Jokes are supposed to be funny. I no one found that funny. funny. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. It's funny now. What, who invited you? What, what do you mean? I'm a best friend. We, no, like, we've literally all been around longer than you. You guys I mean. just took this way too Absolutely far. not. If this, no, she asked you not to. If this was up to me, this would be what? You thought a it was a party, right? party and not a vow renewal. Not, that was disgusting. Funny. Come on, it's fine. She did the same funny. thing on her wedding day. And it was funny then? It was you not guys funny. Guys, it was not funny. You know what? We can just settle this right here. You can have your cake and eat it too. Oh my God. Are you serious right now? Over cake? Don't touch this. I'm selling it. This is ridiculous. You guys are, are you okay. Actually taking the ring off, the, there was text on screen that said none of us expected her to do this, which I also was not expecting, but I was really happy when the friend put the cake in his face. I wasn't mad about that at all. That right there, I think is the response that like myself and a lot of people have been waiting for is... In all of these videos where these guys feel so confident, like taking a girl's face and shoving it into the cake, you have, we have never, ever, ever once seen them get got back. And so it was really satisfying to see someone be like, yeah, is it funny? How about now? I took a peek, a little peekaroo at a uh, blue haired girl's profile tons of followers. We're at 738,000 followers. She makes a ton of sketch videos. If you look, she's also like keeping up with trends. She does a lot of trend stuff. The odds of this being staged very high, but I'm not mad about it because I've never seen anybody even encourage the idea of if someone wants to shove your face into cake because they think it's funny, let them eat cake. Shove it back. Shove it back. Re-cake them. Re-cake the cakers. I'm so for it. Like, regardless of the fact that this is very, very high odds, a complete sketch, what she has done is encourage us all. She's given us the idea that we needed. You know what I mean? Like this is the Salulu. We have been looking for the Salulu and we have it. Simply, if a man wants to be a f asshole and <laughs> shove it back, Lord 2028. <laughs> that is truly my motto. When it comes to inappropriate cake behavior, I say shove it right back in their face. Okay, if we want to be proper men's rights activists, then we are supporting the equal right to receive as much cake as we give to women, right? <laughs> it's equality. Dylan says, shove it back and aggressively yelling it, pushing it into his face are not the same though. Okay, so that is actually a pretty valid point. 
because it was not equal. So I'll actually give it to you there. Let's, let's break this down. Let's break down this cake. Let's do a cake down. It's true. When he engaged in the cake violence, it was a, it was a side swipe, a cheeky swipe upon the cheek, if you will. When blue haired girl did it, in fact, let's, let's get back down there. We'll slow it down. Don't. No. No, 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 no. We talked about this. For real. Please don't do it. I'm not that is. I'm sorry, but like we're replaying this. She could not have said, do not do this any clearer. Could she? That what like literally that, that was too many opportunities to f this up. She said, don't. She said, we talked about this. And then like three more things. Like, I'm sorry, it's self-defense at this point, but it wasn't self-defense because someone else stepped in. <sighs> okay, Dylan, thank you for... Thank you for being the Levi here and getting me to calm down and reassess the situation. We're going back in, okay? You know what though? <laughs> and I know that this was staged so I can't really get into it that much, but like she had ample time to prepare. Her self-defense skills are terrible. Okay. It's like, come on. I know that we have this slowed down, but like by this point, she was well aware that like, here's like, let's look at it from a different angle. Like th this is your mouth and I'm going to be feeding you. This is what she saw. And she didn't move. Obviously we know why she didn't move because she knows she has to get the cake on her face for the bit. She has to commit to the bit. But like, if it was real, and he's all the way on the side of your face. Girl, duck! Get out of there! You know what he's gonna do! You know he's the boogeyman of cake! Get- Where is your- What? Who has- Someone needs to get in here, teach her a little bit of like- Get a gar- A simple guard shrug. A little bit. Just like one class of Muay Thai. Okay? Cause you gotta learn to defend yourself against this cake basilisk over here. Oh, let's go. Yeah. oh my dude. Oh my I what I will say is uh this is a good a good um way of selling us on it though is like the pan down to the feet. That was a good effect for a clearly staged sketch here. Okay, so then pink hair girl comes in. I no one found that. Ooh, okay, so this is slowed down. That was a full slap. And obviously, this is not a, if, assuming this is sketched, that's not an actual assault. He consented to this, what is like essentially the WWE of <laughs> cake at this moment. <laughs> Staged, aggressive drama. <laughs> but if we assume it's not. I know I'm found. Pew, pop. Yeah, that was very different. His was a, you. It was almost like an ASMR experience. Like, shh, 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 shh. You're getting sleepy. You know what I mean? Hers was up. Boy, get out of my best friend's life. This is supposed to be funny. I know I'm found. Bah! Oh, man, that's like a. That's a. Whew. Actually, um, that's legal in certain types of jujitsu matches. Um, what are they called? Hold on. Jiu-jitsu match where you're allowed to open palm. We were gonna have one of these at the fights. Combat jujitsu. It's legal in combat jujitsu. Obviously, they did not bump fists and agree to roll, though. Freedom Fiend, there's always a clearer way. No. Draws point. 45. I said point 0.45. That's how you know I'm not a real uh, pew pew girly. <laughs> Draws a point 0.45. Take away her second amendment, right? Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. She gives him a bop and a uh, 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 uh. So that's a, so her, that's not equal. It was a ju. It was a hoop compared to a free. Okay. So not Equal. Are you serious? <laughs> oh man, he's got a lot for later though. He's gonna have a really tasty snack catcher for the rest of the day. I'm kidding. Okay, everyone sucks here. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So here's what would have made it a perfect scenario is. 
God, but you know what, though? Again, again, you should be allowed to fight off someone else on behalf of your friend. And I get it, it's not really like a, like a fight, but it, it could technically be classified as A-S-S-A-U-L-T to schmear, to get food on someone's face when they explicitly did not give you consent to. I don't think it has to, for it to be a fair like get back. I don't think it has to be the bride who does it necessarily. And it's also tough because she's like, it's an urgent situation. She's got to get her point out fast. You know, like, okay, the cake is funny. Then let's see how funny when you like it. Should she have thrown it? What would be the right way to properly get cake on this guy to prove that it's obviously not funny when it happens to him. It's only funny when it happens to someone else. Revenge assault is a crime too. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Even if someone does throw cake on you, it doesn't mean that you're allowed to throw it back. Is throwing food at someone assault? Yeah, battery, actually. It would be considered battery. So they're both batterers. What's crazy is in reality, how this situation would end up ultimately playing out is that this could potentially be roped in to one of the many DV statistics that would say that it was mutual battery and then no one would be the good guy and then no one would be the bad guy. They're both, it would be as Samantha said, everybody sucks here, but in more legal terms. So, you know, maybe I'm in the wrong here. I got a little bit too carried away in my Fifi's at first. And I was like, yes, cake them back. And I, st I do still kind of, the, look, I'm not a lawful neutral, okay? There's, I don't prescribe to the law as my foundations of morality. I, in my heart of hearts, I truly believe that if you cake someone who doesn't want to be caked, you deserve to be caked. You know what I mean? I truly, uh, yeah, doctor, I'm still team shove it back to be real. But at the same time, because of my chaotic neutrality, I'm not going to be fighting for either of them if they do go to jail for battery. It's kind of like, eh, well, that's the risk you took when you decided to do it. But that being said, I'd take the risk. If it's my best friend and she has been telling me for weeks, God, I hope and I pray that my husband does not cake me on this day. And then the day comes and he cakes her. Even if there was a cop on site this is a crazy scenario, but just roll with me. There's a cop on site and he goes, groom, I'm arresting you right now for battery, for caking your bride. Even if that cop was right there ready to do it, I would still cake him and I would take my time in jail. Damn it. I would do it because you deserve to be caked, mother. It would be worth it. <laughs> So do you advocate doing something back to your spouse when they do something stupid? I think it, it depends. It really depends. Like, okay, let's say for example, I bring home some really good leftovers and I go, God, I can't wait to eat these leftovers. And then he eats them. Yeah, I get to eat his next leftovers. Absolutely. <laughs> But if he like accidentally hits me with like flinging his arm off, I'm not going to hit him back. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's your revenge for sink cup? I also do sink cup now. If you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> if I cake my bride and her friend cakes me back, friend is getting punched or shoved. Oh snap. What if your bride cakes you back? So your team, only the one who gets caked gets to cake back. That, you know what, though? I kind of appreciate that because that's kind of like original dual rules. That's like original Wild Wild West, like, pew pew out nobility, right? Is like, you know, if it's, if it's a draw situation, it's only the two of you. You don't get to have like a buddy pew pew on your behalf. So I kind of, I kind of respect that. One person is being playful. The other is being hateful. Vienery, I'm going to argue with you on this. I'm going to argue with you. If you know that your partner has hated this behavior, if you know that it will upset them, it is hateful for you to do it to them. You are treating your partner the way someone who hates them would treat them, aren't you? Counterpoint, man says no, wife does it anyway in a teasing manner, man screams at her and his friend clocks her. Yeah, that's the thing is obviously this wouldn't survive the, the gender swap test, you know? If a woman did this and so a man was like, oh yeah, you think it's funny to, 
I don't know, like maybe she like squirts ketchup on his suit or something. We've seen videos like that. And then another guy comes in and just like breaks the entire bottle open over on her. It's a pool of ketchup and blood everywhere. Like obviously that didn't happen. Obviously he survived a slap. But that's another interesting thing about just like the whole gender differentiation in general is like men getting slapped is societally accepted as a funny means of attaining humor. The same cannot be said of reverse gender. Now, to be fair, when I first saw this, to me, it didn't like look as much like a slap. It just looked like she was getting the cake to face contact. Like she was giving him a schmear as well. Now that I'm breaking it down, it's a bit quite a slap actually, to, to be real. In ring combat to resolve marital issues. Germany is crazy. Like the man fights the woman? That don't sound right. You know what suits cost? Look, I was not approving of ketchup on suit action. What would be even more cringe is if it was mustard because mustard is the most stainable condiment. Oh, I would rage. I would be so absolutely livid. Dylan says slapstick did a number on male violence awareness. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, yes, it did. Very, very true. <laughs>